Sign up at the end of this review to get my personal gear list. Hey there, Tony Policastro here from the Acoustic Letter, and today will supersede all special days we've ever had on the Acoustic Letter. And I mean that with no sarcasm and no snarkiness. It is a truly special day for the Acoustic Letter and for acoustic guitar lovers and appreciators everywhere. But before I explain why this is such a super duper day, I want to make sure you stick around to the end of the video and sign up for the Acoustic Letter. You'll be very, very happy that you did so. Today is a treat. I am holding one of 50 Martin D100 Deluxes that will ever be made. This particular guitar, I'm just going to come right out and say it. This guitar will no doubt cause waves of controversy among all acoustic guitar appreciators, well-meaning ones, not so well-meaning ones. It's got a ton of inlay. It's very dressed up. And I get it. I get it's not for everybody. It's not a guitar that you're going to take out to the gig and be like, guys, check out my new rig. It's got pearl everywhere. No, this is not that guitar. And uh, I want you to think about it from Martin Guitar's standpoint, a company that was started in 1833 and has been continuously family run since then. And this particular guitar, the D100 Deluxe model, celebrates their one millionth guitar. Okay, that's a ton of guitars, one million guitars. This one happens to be number 45 out of a 50 guitar run of the D100 Deluxe. And to celebrate producing one million guitars, you kind of have to go over the top. Uh, this guitar, I'm going to give you the full spec rundown. Um, and I actually played it so you guys can hear what it sounds like. Um, but again, I, I know that this isn't a guitar you're going to go rolling out to the gig with and, and you know, beat on. I uh, just wanted to give you all a treat uh, because it's not every day that a guitar like this walks into anybody's life, let alone you can even hear a guitar like this. So what we have on the D100 Deluxe is an Adirondack spruce top with forward shifted scallop bracing, an ebony bridge with a bone saddle, and this is where I'm going to veer off my standard path. On the top of this guitar, we have our standard ebony bridge, but it's got beautiful, beautiful mother of pearl and abalone inlay. The bridge pins are actually fossilized walrus ivory with green tourmaline inset into 24 karat gold rings, a fossilized ivory saddle, black pickguard with a really, really cool inlay pattern. We have a guitar top where you can see the X bracing on kind of a family crest shield with various kind of luthery guitar tools uh, around the entire pickguard inlaid in mother of pearl, various colors and abalone. Around the sound hole, we have a pearl herringbone rosette next to four different abalone rosette rings. It's just super, 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 superbly well done. The entire top, the purfling is herringbone in typical Martin fashion, but it's pearl herringbone. That goes around the entire top, fingerboard extension. The sides also have abalone purfling next to ivoroid binding. And I should mention this before I give the full unveiling. The sides are Brazilian rosewood, as is the back, which has a very elaborate kind of ode to Martin. It has one of the original Martin guitars with the Stauffer style headstock on the top. Beautiful kind of Art Deco style flower pot with a kind of a tree of life theme. Uh, different materials on the back. We still have mother of pearl. We still have abalone. We also have copper, gold silver um, and the inlay work is really really incredible um, it's actually pretty breathtaking it's a huge huge piece of inlay work on a very very incredible piece of brazilian rosewood and it's done incredibly well that abalone purfling extends all around the sides all around the neck along the fingerboard along where the neck meets the body along the heel cap which is ivoroid the fingerboard is also ebony with a very, very elaborate tree of life inlay up it. And that also has gold, silver, copper, abalone, mother of pearl, 
the usual. Uh, it's bound in an ivoroid binding. The side markers are abalone dots. We have an inch and three quarter bone nut. The headstock is just another great example of phenomenal inlay work. Uh, we have Martin inlaid in abalone, a really elaborate scene with kind of like an eagle on it, also done in mother of pearl and abalone. That mother of pearl, or rather abalone purfling, extends all the way around the headstock as well. The headstock is bound in ivory. We have gold Waverly tuners that are engraved. The neck is made out of mahogany. It's a modified V profile. And it's just a treat to play this. I, I, <clears throat> I say this, you know, I, I get to play a ton of different guitars, and it's, it's really, really cool. Um, you get to zone in on what you like, what different tone would sound like, different feels, different neck profiles, but this definitely tops my list. And it has nothing to do with the price. Uh, it, it, it's not cool because, oh, it's a really expensive guitar. Yes, it's a really expensive guitar. But the symbolism of this guitar is, is truly, truly extraordinary. And seeing it and seeing the workmanship that goes into it um, really is... Uh, it's fascinating. It's amazing. It's breathtaking. Um, it's what guitar lovers love about guitar. It's art. It's beauty. It sounds good. It's functional art. It's just really, really darn cool. So we're going to give the Martin D100 Deluxe a play so you can hear what this exceptional piece of craftsmanship sounds like. Click the link to get the world's best acoustic guitar reviews sent to your inbox. Why? Because it's free and it's the easiest way to get prices and high res photos of each guitar. Plus, as soon as you sign up, you'll get the free tabs and lessons for the songs I play in my guitar reviews. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking this button.